Fight fans all over the world is Daddy P on the corner in the corner. What? Hey, the final press is done. Hey, fight week is just about done. The only thing we waiting on is the weigh-in. But check it. I like to take out this time to shout out all the subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, listen, I like to shout out Gregory Wyatt. My man pulled my coattail. I said the wrong date on one of my videos. But check it. This thing is going down this coming Saturday night, June the 16th. You don't want to miss it. It is a Showtime event. It is Premier Boxing Champion, Daddy P. Hey, I'm on the scene with you, baby. Hey, listen, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, this final press wasn't, you know, it didn't disappoint. But I'm going to tell you like this right here, man. You already know. Errol Spence Jr. is 23-0 with 20 KOs, 87% KO average. Lesson, Carlos Ocampo, 20-0 with 13 KOs. That's a 59% KO average. Now, I've been trying all week to find out, man, how tall Carlos Ocampo was. And uh, shout out to Boxing Ego, tail of the tape. He said 5 foot 10 and a half inches. I go with that. That looks about right in reference to the face-off. Errol Spence Jr., you already know, is five foot nine and a half with a 72-inch reach. That's all that's missing. I don't know how um, what this guy's reach is, Carlos Ocampo, but uh, earlier in the week, I was talking a little bit about, you know, some of the fights I was watching on YouTube by Carlos Ocampo, and uh, I, I alluded to Daniel Echevera, a guy he fought when he fought him. Daniel Echevera was 19 and 3. I found a video of it. And um, he's a guy that's probably around the same height as Errol Spence. A lot of those other guys were shorter guys. And Daniel Echevera, um, you know, Carlos Ocampo outboxed him. He controlled the distance. He counted effectively. But he just, to me, didn't show a whole lot of aggression. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you will need to, I mean, that's even just to make Errol Spence think in the rain. Because uh, otherwise, he just go walk you down. Be ferocious to the body and get you out of there. So anyway, we gonna find out, man. June the 16th. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But this final press, um, listen, man. Hey, Brian Custer was asking the question about the uh, the upper echelon in the division. You know, he was talking about Thurman, Garcia, Porter, and all that. Man, hey, Al Smith Jr. say line them up, line them up. That's what he said. Line him up. And after the press conference, a guy was interviewing him. Um, and he was, and they was asking him about Terrence Crawford. And you know, something I alluded to earlier in the week. You know, I was saying that uh, that fight is not gonna happen very soon. I mean, not like very, very soon. And um, like you already know, the lingo, Terrence Crawford already had a guy on his undercard that's been trying to get a fight with him and that's top rank in house so you know next is not gonna be next you know uh crawford probably go go with benavidez next so i don't know but anyway um Errol, what, he, what Errol spence had to say about it though was that he was like hey i got two belts on my side of the street you know speaking of premier boxing champions you know you got uh that fight still looming Garcia versus Porter for the WBC and then you know you still got Thurman with the WBA and those are the particular straps he was referring to you know that's on his side of the street and what he was saying you know the fights that will be made first are the fights that are easiest to make you know all of these guys are um, you know managed by Al Heyman premier boxing champions so you know the Thurman you know, with that WBA super strap, you know, he basically saying, hey, I still want that. And then Garcia versus Porter, whoever win with the WBC strap, he's saying, hey, look. And what he ended up saying was, when I have three titles, and I, I really believe you're talking about that WBA super, that WBC, and you already know he holding down the IBF. Listen, he said, when I got three straps, I will see Terrence Crawford. He talking about not only unifying, he talking about undisputed, baby. Hey, and that's why I like Errol Spence Jr. Because that's what he cut from that cloth 
from those old school boxers who was ready to fight any and everybody just to be known as the best. And not only that, look, this man want to be undisputed. He want to be undisputed. And you can tell he understands, you know, the politics of boxing. He understands, hey, that Terrence Crawford is a mega fight that's looming. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is the thing about that. He, he, you notice he said when he got <laughs> three belts, then he goes see him. He know that that's the fight that ultimately everybody wants to see. And this will be a mega fight. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, we talking about this Errol Spence homecoming week. But that's just what the young man saying. I like that lingo. This young man is serious about the sport of boxing. He not trying to grab the easiest belt he can find and hold on to it and, and, and you know, fight these fud dirty guys. No, he want to fight the best. You know, he ain't trying to just snap. He, he not just happy with the IBF strap. You know, how some of these boxers go and grab one of these straps and then sit on it. That's not what Errol Spence Jr. is about. And um, he uh, that's why I really ate. Hey, this young man is a boxer that has come into the sport. He's excited about being known as the best. And that's what you want to see out of a boxer, man. He ain't trying to waste no time with this foolishness. Um, you know, make his name big and then, you know, fight all these little fud duddy fights. No, he want to be known as the best. And you hear it every time he speak, when people interviewing him, when he in press conferences, this is what he talks about. He's very straightforward. He does not cut corners. He does not talk, you know, just saying empty words, just the same. And that's what I like about Eric Spears Jr. But hey, look, man, this thing is going down. And on the undercard, we have a, hey, it's exciting. Adrian Granados, who is a grinded out type of fighter, you know, high work rate in the ring. Um, then you got Javier Fortuna, who is a very slick box. Y'all seen him against Robert Easter Jr. Robert Easter Jr. pulled out the controversial decision. Uh, but Javier Fortuna, man, look, very slick guy, man. And um, I think that's going to be a real good fight on that undercard. So, hey, very exciting night, June the 16th. Homecoming, you know, for Errol Spence Jr. Shout out to uh, Premier Boxing Champions. Shout out to Showtime. Shout out to the Dallas Cowboys. Shout out. Listen, this thing going down in Frisco, Texas, man. And uh, hey, this Daddy P on the corner, in the corner boxing. I will be doing this thing like you know how I do it. I will be giving you some update highlights of the fight. Hey, so y'all tune in to your boy, man. Go ahead and slap the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. Daddy P out of there.